everyone. Uh, this is the lesson on a growth chart. As the name says, growth chart, it, it measures the growth of usually children. So in this chart that we are having here, and usually the chart is divided into boys and girls because boys and girls, they don't grow the same way. So here, there's a scenario. I'm, I'm going to read it, but I want to explain the chart first. This particular chart is the chart for girls from 2 years to 20 years. It gives you the body mass index and the percentiles. Way. Okay. When you look at the chart, at the bottom, there's age. So whatever age of a child that they're giving you, get it on the bottom. And then on the side, as you see here, it says kilometers all divided by meter square. Kilometers per meter square, it's body mass index. On your sides, on the y-axis, on the vertical one, on the upright one, they're giving you the body mass index. And then on the bottom, they're giving you the age. Okay. And then you have these lines that are tilted like that. But everything is written on this chart. On the lines they at, at the side, they are telling you what the lines are for. This one is the 97th percentile, the 95th percentile, the 90th percentile, as, as they go. And then usually the 50th percentile will make they'll make it darker or maybe with a different color to show you that it's halfway. That's the average. So this is the 50th percentile and the 25th percentile, the 10th percentile. The fifth. So everything is written on the chart. Now let's look at a particular question and how we use okay. the chart. Let's look at this scenario. They say a South African couple has relocated to USA. The growth chart below has been used to monitor the growth of their female children. Use the chart to answer the question. You remember when I was explaining, I said usually it would be a different chart for boys and girls because boys and girls, they grow differently. So this one is for girls. Now... Let's look at the first question. This question says, what is the body mass index BMI of a four-year-old girl at the 95th percentile? Okay. Remember, the age is at the bottom. So you look for four-year-old. You take a ruler. You go to four. Yes, four. Must be able to use your ruler proper. And then you draw a line across like that. Then you go to 95th percentile. You remember, they've written them for you here. Then you go to that curve. You go along the curve until you touch that line that you have, you have drawn. So here, where the line, where the, the curve and the line meet, that's your answer. Now here, then I take my ruler again. I go and look at, at that point there, what is the body mass index? The body mass index, you remember, they've written on the sides. Then I go to the body mass index. It says 18. So it means my answer for the first question, the BMI of a four-year-old will be a will be 18 it's mass in kilogram per meter square you remember the units for 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 bmi is kilograms per meter squared let's look at the next question the next question the couple's 10 year old has a body mass index of 16 kilogram per meter squared between which percentile curve does her body mass index lie so this one is 10 year old We'll go and find 10 years, the bottom like that, 10 years. And then they've given us her body mass index. They've said the body mass index is 16 kilogram per meter square. When we go to the side, we find the 16, is the 16 here. Now this point here, that's where the age, 10 years, and the 16 for body mass index meet it's between which two percentiles it's between that line this one the dark one and that one so you go along and look at the answer at the end is the 50th, 50th percentile and the 25th percentile that's your answer that's what you write so your answer for b it's between the 50th and 25th percentile you don't have to write percentile right for this answer just write the percentile because you are answering there as to which percentiles you just write it okay let's do the last one they say the body mass index of their youngest child who is two years old lies 
fifth percentile, what does this mean? Now they, they, they want you to see your understanding of the chart and the percentile. So if their youngest lies in the 45th percentile, what does it mean? It means that the whole population is 100%. So 50th percentile is half of the population. So if this child is lies within the 45th percentile, it means 55 of the children are above Hippodimus index. And then 45 of the children, 45% of the children are below Hippodimus index because she is for the, in the 45th percentile, meaning that she is in 45%. Okay, let's write that so down. This is the answer, how we write the answer for C. The body mass index of 45% of her girls of her age group is less than hers. And the body mass index of 55% of the girls in her age group is above hers. Okay, both charts are different. You get different from different question papers. And then sometimes they do for infants. Like when, when you take a child to a clinic, it's infant is different from adults. It's nice. It's something that you can learn because it's real life things that you use in life. So just practice, practice, practice. And these are easy marks. Most of the marks here you don't calculate. In this question, we didn't calculate anything. So this is very easy marks. Thank you for watching. This is the end of our lesson.